episode of CGC. Now today we're doing something a little bit different from normal and that is we are in a single player world as you can see I have cheats on yay uh, <laughs> we're in a single player world and I'm doing um, a tutorial actually as you probably have already seen from the title it is a powerless um, fortune style quarry basically uh, to put it at the best way that I can um, we're gonna be using Thalmcraft which has um, a pretty much infinite power supply uh, using the aura nodes in the the earth or in the world I guess in the Minecraft world in order to you know uh, use power and mine and the f special thing about this type of mining uh, which is a lot different from any other any other type of mining is we're able to put fortune on it so uh, we're able to get multiple diamonds from each piece of ore multiple uh, or, or more redstone I guess I should say more lapis all those kinds of things anything that drops something we're gonna get, put fortune on it because you know why not um, so that's what we're gonna do today so these these are the um, what I would say bare essentials I guess uh, you're gonna need uh, two uh, pickaxe of the cores uh, efficiency 5 repair 1 fortune 3 and unbreaking 3 are uh, the needed and chance uh, for this well I guess you don't really need efficiency the ones that you need are repair one fortune three and unbreaking three efficiency is obviously gonna make this whole process go a lot quicker uh, the better the efficiency the better you're going to get uh, um, for the wand you're gonna need charging one treasure three potency three and unbreaking three really I think treasure three I'm not sure, but I think Treasure 3 doesn't do really anything. Potency, Unbreaking, and Charging are the three that you need uh, exactly. You will need one Mining Turtle, uh, just a normal Mining Turtle, uh, two Chunk Loaders, and six Ender Chests, two of each type of color of some sort, and an Arcane Bore and Arcane Bore Base. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, First off, let's just take all this, why not, huh? So, first off, let's go ahead and put down some of these things that we're going to be needing. Now, I set this up, this little setup here, uh, just to um, get rid of the items that are coming into the ender chest, but normally you would want to use something, uh, maybe, maybe not an AE system. You're going to want to pipe. Uh, into a chest and then take it out of that chest and I'll show you that in a little bit why you would want to do that so it's better to use two pipes with all target gates to pull out of that chest and pump it into another chest and then use um, maybe um, something like uh, an AE system to pull out or you know a, a sorting system to be here basically um, whatever you decide that you want to do basically it's what you would want there now the next thing you're going to do basically uh, is oh, oops, wrong thing, is put down the arcane bore now uh, this setup has basically been designed to have one tunnel already pre pre dug basically I dug three here I was doing some testing so I dug uh, three holes to do some testing to make sure that my automatic recharging station would work properly and it does but uh, I can show you guys that later but basically uh, you want to start with one hole one hole is perfect uh, you don't need any more or any less um, oh, I guess one other thing that you're going to need is whoops as a type of wand uh, I'm just going to use a uh, wand of your apprentice is absolutely fine for this whole setup so you're going to want to put down the base facing you're gonna want this guy facing yeah uh, back basically and whichever way you want to bore needs to be facing um, oh come on now uh, whatever whichever way you want to bore needs to be facing whichever way now it's gonna use this tunnel here to move down it's gonna move down that tunnel but it's always gonna be mining out that way well it's also gonna mine out this tunnel automatically 
but it'll always mine out that way. It'll move down, dig a little bit more out that way, and then mine all the way this way. So you'll see it work in action. But this is what you want to do. You want to put your wand and your pick in there. And obviously you can see the width is 11, which is how big this is. Uh, speed is 5. That comes from the efficiency 5. Native and fortune 3. Uh, I'm not sure if so that, yeah, that comes from the pick. Uh, the pick comes from that. Okay, and then the speed... Okay, so the potency you need, the potency, unbreaking, charging wand are everything that you need on the wand. The um, repair, fortune, unbreaking, and efficiency are really all needed if you want the speed. Now, you don't have to have the speed, obviously, but uh, it's well, uh, you know, it's very well needed, I guess. It's something that's kind of desirable. Now, another thing you're going to need are these two things. Uh, a chest, whatever color, separate from this one, and another chest. Uh, separate from all the other three and then the last thing you're going to want is either charcoal or coal um, one of the other I guess you could use blaze rods too uh, if you wanted it. anything that can be used for a fuel inside of a turtle basically so I'm just going to take all this just to put it all in there basically so that's that's what you want um, and then in this chest here the, the other chest you want to put the pick just like that so you want to stick the the second pick um, it might be also very viable if you're going to be using uh, a my setup for the automatic charging station you might even want a third pick per bore so per bore that you use uh, you might want another pick so uh, next thing you want to do is you want to take this white ender chest which is linked to that and plunk it down here just like that um, then what you want to do is put your turtle on here and a chunk loader right behind the turtle and it should just be fine with the way it's set up initially so there you go everything's pretty much ready to go now except for one last thing the turtle needs to have its code and also needs to have the few things placed in it chunk loader needs to be in a sixth slot the uh, coal chest, whatever chest you're using for your coal or charcoal, needs to put in the 15th slot. And the pick chest needs to be put in the very last 16th spot. Everything else uh, should be blank. Now, the code that you're going to want, there's only one code, so you don't have to worry about multiple codes being downloaded or anything like this. You just want to do a paste bin get S J T F S capital G lowercase g h just like that and then you want to name it start up obviously because why would you name it anything else trust me you don't want to name it anything else you want to name it startup otherwise it will not work trust me I've tried <laughs> so once you have that go ahead and hit start or hit enter it'll connect to the paste bin and then download the program so before I show you what this program does why don't we look at it and I'll try to explain a little bit about what it does. So as you can see, uh, it starts out straight up functions. That's all it is, bunch of functions. And uh, none of them are really complicated or anything like that. And the most complicated one is uh, these first two. Uh, so the function check, basically what this is going to do is it's going to turn on its redstone signal. And by doing that, it's going to allow this machine to start digging. Uh, it's then going to do... Um, uh, select one uh, and then suck down so basically what that means is uh, as soon as it turns on the redstone signal this thing will start digging and it should put something in this chest what the turtle is then going to do is suck it from the chest so suck down it's going to suck it up whoops and it's going to get an item count of the first slot which it is selected and it's going to say if the item count is equal or greater than one or greater than or equal to one then it will drop that item back down so it can be deposited uh, into the system and then it will say items are in there and sleep for 10 seconds and then restart the program if it is not uh, equal than or greater than or equal to one so basically if it sucks up and says nothing is there it's going to do uh, print nothing is there sleep for five seconds then it's going to run the double function which basically does the same thing over again uh, saying it's going to after waiting for five seconds it's going to um, do a suck down get an item count and if it's greater than or equal to one it's going to go back up to check 
and start this whole process over again. If it is still equal to zero after 15 seconds of not getting anything back from it, uh, it's going to do a shutdown basically and turn off the redstone signal. Okay. Uh, at this point, we'll go, we'll see down here. Uh, while true does a check and then it will move straight into the next code which is the coal code uh, which is basically um, it's refueling itself let's get here so it's going to get a turtle dot it's going to do a turtle dot get fuel level um, basically and if it is uh, less than or equal to 1000 then it's going to select slot 15 which is the slot that the ender chest for the coal should be in uh, it's going to place it above it up here it's going to uh, suck. It's going well. It's going to first move to uh, 13, which is this slot right here. Suck up from it. It'll have a whole stack of coal, or should have a whole stack of coal, blaze rods, whatever you decide to put in there for the fuel. It's going to refuel itself with that whole stack. Select 15 again, and then dig up. And by selecting 15 and digging up, it will automatically put that chest into the 15th slot. Uh, after after it does this if it does need to refuel uh, you know it will then of course go and do pick uh, the pick function of course will then uh, let's see it will select one and suck out of here so basically this is normally what happens is the coal will run after everything has been finished once it has dug this sign and that line down there it's finished so it will suck out these things when the pick function after it gets refueled it will then suck out uh, it will suck once and that will pull out the first item which is the wand then it will suck a second time and pull out the pickaxe of the core and put them in the respective slots one and two uh, it will then select 16 which is the ender chest for the pick and place it up it will then select two put that pick into that chest and then suck the other pick which should be in slot one and put it back into the second slot it will then select 16 again and break that chest and put it back into that slot basically um, after that uh, it will move so it's going to do this whole thing where it will uh, select slot three and dig in front of it it will select slots five which is right here dig below it then select move forward and select four and dig the base and put it in select slot four it will then turn right move forward 11 spots which is perfect it should then be perfectly lined up to dig that row right there so it should just be a big hole with a bunch of these like mounds in the middle of it um, so it will do that and um, keep moving it will move all the way down then place everything back down and do this all over again as you can see um, and then of course uh, we have this chunk loader here which you realize it picked up all these things but left the chunk loader behind that's where this comes in handy once it gets all the way down moved all the way down there it will select the sixth slot and place a new chunk loader it will then come back with this function called chunk it will come back to the spot that it needs to come back to right here it will then pick up this uh, chunk loader and put it in the sixth slot and then go all the way back all the way back down to where it needs where it set all this other stuff up get into place and then it will select the slot one which has the one and drop it into the uh, arcane bore then select slot two which has the pick and drop it into arcane bore then it will do a start function which will basically just turn on um, just turn on everything um, and then it will also do um, a tunnel function which basically what the tunnel function is meant to do is it's meant to have the turtle place down the arcane bore on this side so that it faces this way and digs out that uh, which you'll see happen of course um, and I think that is it I just have one thing that I need to do which I realized uh, as I was reading this out which I'll have to change for Wolf because he's the one who helped me uh, uh, come up with all of this and everything 
uh, well I was the code writer he was the idea man basically uh, this needs to be added in and I'll make sure I tell him so that he can uh, do that and he might actually watch this uh, maybe and see that under coal you need to put a pick function here so that when it run when it refuels it will know that it needs to do pick um, otherwise it won't do anything it'll just stop basically uh, so uh, I think we're basically ready to see this thing run and I'm just gonna show you uh, because I've dug this out it should maybe dig just a little bit and then uh, do the moving part I want to show you how it moves and how it does all the coal stuff so let's do a reboot and it'll say nothing there it'll wait for five seconds obviously this guy is on he dug a little bit but not much so he's gonna pick that up and he refueled himself now he's picking up all the pieces and he's moving down 11 spots so you can see he's moving down he's gonna place these things down and he's gonna do the tunnel function now which is basically means he's going to dig out uh, this part of the function but first he has to go back and pick up this chunk loader because he forgot it basically um, the way that works is so it could be in a chunk loaded area now this doesn't update unless you click on it but um, nor like it updates basically but it doesn't visually update unless you click on it that's why I clicked on it but as you can see it's working uh, like I said it doesn't visually update it doesn't show it mining and stuff but it's working uh, it said nothing there and now it just is saying that there are items there uh, mm -hmm. there's items being placed into here this is exactly what I'm talking about basically when I say you want to have um, you want to have two pipes taking this stuff out um, I, I've tested it a lot and it seems to work just fine with just two pipes it doesn't ever get over a stack of cobble and if those two pipes right there are fast enough to pull out that stack of cobble basically before in that time that it takes them move and do all that stuff so uh, I'm gonna maybe do a little fast forwarding here uh, just until it gets ready to start moving again but well, I'm just gonna sit here and wait uh, until it gets ready to start moving and I might just fast forward this bit because it might be a little slow so I'll be right back
All right, guys. So as you can see, the uh, world down there, or the wall down there, is starting to get evened out. So we're gonna see it eventually here pretty soon. Yeah, here pretty soon, it's gonna start uh, slowing down, getting to a closing end, and uh, the turtle will eventually realize that uh, it, you know, it's finishing up. There's nothing. Yep, yeah, right there. It says it's nothing there. Uh, maybe this time around it might go back. Yeah, it'll relap itself. But uh, this is basically how it works. You know, it gets real low, and since there were some items in there, you know, it you know does those things. So nothing there. See if it uh, processes. Yep, shutting down. So it took the things out, broke it. Now it placed it, and as you can see, uh, by placing it on that end, it was able to. Um, make the by placing it on this side the bore was able to face that way and make it start digging into this hole and as you can see uh, you'll see here it'll go one more layer out it's depicted well, well actually it'll go in real quick before it goes all the way out but this row here which I'm looking at will eventually be taken out um, here in just a minute come on now uh, so you'll see, I think that's right, isn't it? One, two, three, four, yeah. Now, that wall should eventually be taken out. Uh, but this is a good way, I mean, really. Uh, all you're missing is this little bit of mound here. Uh, a little bit of mound here, basically. And you can put this right down. I would suggest putting it, uh, this, this block here, on level 13. Uh, that way anything lava, I think lava spawns on 12, maybe it spawns on 11. Whatever level lava spawns on, you're going to want to put it a block above because I don't think it's going to react well uh, to be being placed into the lava. Uh, so you're going to be careful with that. Water, it doesn't matter. The turtle can go right through the water and place all of these blocks inside of the water. And uh, the arcane bore works fine underwater. It just shoots right through the water. Oh yeah, there it goes. As you can see right there. That'll eventually happen over here. And there it went. That just happened. Uh, so yeah, it's a great way uh, to mine a lot. Costs no power, none at all. Uh, the only thing that you have to feed it is coal, and you have to have those two uh, two picks to start with. Uh, now one thing to notice, uh, well, one thing that you would notice is the pick that's in here will, would be replaced after all of this is done. It is not going to recharge inside of inside of this chest it's not going to so that's where the automated part for the recharging comes in handy which I'll show you guys in just a minute but I wanted to show you how well this works uh, we might come back to it and see how it's doing in a little while uh, after we after I've done the others these other parts so let me get set up for the automating of the um, of this chest and uh, we'll show you guys that in just a second Okay guys, I'm back and I'm going to show you guys how to set this up so that you can get a automatic recharging station for you, your picks so you don't have to ever worry about charging them yourself by putting them in your inventory or uh, making a whole bunch of one type of pick. Uh, one thing I do want to stress right off the bat is you want all of your picks to be exactly the same. What I mean by that is you can see these two picks are exactly the same and even this pick along with all these they're all exactly the same uh, I don't know if this really makes a difference but I could see it having a problem and all of these guys are exactly the same efficiency repair fortune break, unbreaking efficiency repair fortune unbreaking efficiency repair unbreaking or fortune unbreaking efficiency repair fortune unbreaking so basically what you want is your your chest that has uh, your picks in it you're gonna want to put here uh, it's going to have your extra picks in it. It's not a big deal because what you're going to do is have a fuzzy import bus with a slightly broken uh, It can just have one durability basically on it. I just happen to have three durability on this one You want to split it at 99% basically so any damage value that it has uh, It will uh, be sucked out, but anything that is fully repaired that doesn't have any damage value basically uh, won't be sucked out um, and then this will just uh, precision export. It won't put anything in there that's damaged. It will only put this exact thing, a uh, re repaired one, which is why you need all of them to be exact because it will only put this, even with the uh, enchants, have to be exactly the same. And that's the same thing for uh, this guy here. 
uh, the fuzzy imports, I'm not sure exactly, but I think they, the enchants could be mixed up, but it's not a big deal. And then exactly the same thing as this one, only reversed an export bus going into this with a precise import bus pulling it out. Uh, that one damage point with 99% uh, split, totally cool. And then you're going to want to have a wand in here. Um, doesn't have to be anything special, it can just be a normal wand just like this. Basically you just want to force that pick to put it into here because uh, it will put a pick here if you're not careful and it won't recharge in this spot. Uh, which is kind of a bummer, I thought maybe it would but it doesn't. It will only repair inside of this slot. So uh, what you got to do is have this set up just like this. An AE network works perfectly for this because it can be temporary temporarily stored in here you can just hook this up to your normal AE so basically I'll just show you how this works what I'm going to do is I'm going to damage this one up and then damage this one up as well so you can see that they both have some durability in them so let's stick this one in first and it will pull that one out just as you saw and stick it into here now uh, wasn't that strange yeah, it's weird, huh? Why is it not exporting? Exports. Ex export. Hold on a second, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I figured it out. Obviously, the one percent does not like, or the one damage does not like to do. So maybe have at least uh, two or three. Three seems to work just fine. I think for some reason that 1% just doesn't like to work uh, so anything more than 1% I think works fine so as you can see this is recharging here uh, you don't have to have any uh, you know s reason I don't have to be touching it it repairs you can see 3 2 or well it should go down to 2 2 there it goes I think we're having a problem with the aura node in the area to be honest <laughs> I think I've sucked all the aura nodes dry um, from so much mining that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot. There's tons of tunnels all over the place down here. So there you go. You saw it got sucked out right there, and the other one got placed in. Then that one's going to be sucked out, put into here temporarily. And now we got three completely fixed guys in here. So it's a great way. Um, I know it's kind of expensive because these boars are not cheap, but basically for every boar that you put down somewhere, if you have one recharging station for it, perfect. Or another viable option would be to have uh, instead of two picks, like the pick that's in there, it, the pick that's in the turtle and this pick, rather than having just the two, put three or four in there, uh, and then you know maybe you can have with four, with four picks, well five. Oh, right there. Do we just see it switching? Might just switch pick. Maybe that was just me. Did it just switch picks? Yeah, it did. Look, it just switched pick. That one's at 400 now. So we can see down here. Uh, let me just turn this back on. You can see down here. This one hasn't been fully drawn out yet, but I think that's just because of the aura node. If I get some goggles revealing on, you can see. Yeah, this one's pretty low, pretty low, pretty low because of all the recharging and stuff that I've been doing in this one area. Uh, you're going to want to do this in a digger age. Set up your an AE system in a digger age. Look how small this ore node is. And it's a bad ore node too, which doesn't help any. But um, you're going to want to set this up in a digger age, not in your world right underneath your base because it will harm you. Uh, that's the one downside of course every mining mis system has a downside the one for this just happens to be that it is um, can cause very big detrimental problems to uh, the ore nodes in the area like I said digger age like we have on CGC works just fine for this so uh, let me actually now that that pace or now that this code has been updated uh, with that the correct code and stuff let me just do oh I just happened to get it I was picking up stuff wow um, we're just going to hey spin put startup so there you go right 
Come on. Right there. There's the code that you want. Capital T, capital Z, lowercase U, D7, capital U, capital F, capital Y. Uh, that's the code that you want to use to get uh, this uh, this mining machine. I will even be so kind as to put it in the description for you. So uh, be sure to check this out. It's a great way. Fortune 3, I mean, come on. You can't get any wrong, any bad things from that. Uh, and, of course, um, just like a quarry, you know, it leaves it open but this is almost a little bit better because you it's a lot easier to reach the top the sides of this rather than uh, any other you know like a quarry it's kind of hard to reach all the way to the top parts or the middle parts of a quarry you gotta do a lot of nerd pulling but here uh, allows you to easily access all these parts and as long as um you start it like you have to start it with a mine start it with uh, dig down this way and then it'll automatically just dig, keep digging, dig, dig a little bit there, 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 dig, all the way down. Uh, and it'll just keep going and going and going. As long as you have charcoal in the chest, it'll be ready to go, basically. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this nice little tutorial. We haven't decided on what we want to call this mining machine. I don't think anything like this has ever been done on YouTube. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, it's a great very compact uh, it takes up five blocks super compact space uh, you know it's, it's very compact very 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 efficient with the fortune 3 on it and everything so if you guys uh, have any ideas on what you would like to call it either leave it in my video description or wolf's video description when he puts this up because uh, he was obviously part of this as well so uh, make sure that you uh, you know tell us what you think it would be what it should be called because we're rubbish with names to be honest <laughs> so uh, let us know what you think it should be called uh, if you have any questions on it uh, let me know I've done tons of testing I've never run into any problems um, uh, the only problem I've run into is um, aura nodes uh, but even still uh, uh, I the only problem I've ever run into with an aura node is here in single player and on multiplayer where it's in a digger age and stuff um, we I've tested it in my in our digger age basically a little bit uh, and I just let it go and I avoided avoided everything that came through so it wasn't cheating but I uh, just let it go for a while and it never it completely finished all of its tunnels never ran into any problems because it was constantly uh, you know after it had dug maybe two tunnels it switched to a new aura node that was completely fresh ready to be pillaged so <laughs> it worked out really well basically so um, thanks for watching this guys like I said if you have any questions or want to name the device something like that um, we'll definitely consider all of your thoughts for it um, any questions for the coding anything like that just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on the powerless quarry device thanks for watching have a good day goodbye